Is one of your goals to purchase a home in the next 12 months? And do you want to save thousands of dollars when you do so? Well, then today's episode is one that you are not going to want to miss. So on today's episode, I'm interviewing Dino from California Coastal Loans, and we're going over a wide variety of topics, including a bunch of different programs that he has to give you rates up to 3% lower than what the current rates are going for, saving you hundreds of dollars every single month on your mortgage. We also discuss what to expect over the next couple months and what he predicts over the next six Six months to happen in the industry and then finally you're not going to want to miss this if you're trying to buy a home he's rolling out a brand new program it's going to be giving $2,500 to a bunch of different buyers and this is not just for first-time home buyers a large chunk of buyers are going to qualify for this so to get all the details about that make sure you stay tuned so let's go ahead and get into today's episode So everybody, I want to go ahead and welcome Dino back to the show. It's been a while since you've been on, but I wanted to bring you back today because one of the biggest challenges we're seeing in today's market is interest rates. So interest rates are making home purchases extremely unaffordable for a lot of people. They've gone up by basically double since the beginning of the year. So today, Dino, I brought you on just to kind of talk about some of the solutions out there that buyers can use to be able to still get into a home, make it affordable, make it so they can afford those monthly payments, and just kind of let buyers know what options are out there for them. So again, welcome to the show and thanks for joining me today. And so let's go on and go on with some of those. You know, thanks again for, for having me on here. and. You know, it is, like you said, rates have actually more than doubled yep. and it's gotten really insane out there for a lot of people. Um, I, I will say a couple things, though, that, you know, the banks are trying to come up with some options here for people, at least some temporary solutions to try and keep getting people in, which I think is a super positive sign. And, and I did hear, I was listening to a friend of mine today who, who created a video and, and he was talking about how the expectation of what real estate is going to do next year, you know, the, the numbers that CoreLogic puts out and Black Knight and all, some of these companies that do the forecasting, right? And, and he was saying, it, you know, you're going to get a 30% return on your money just based on, you know, what, what these companies are putting out. So, and I love this little saying, he said, don't wait to buy real estate, buy real estate and wait. Yep. Because... History tells us you will absolutely always make money. The only time you will ever lose in real estate is if you have to sell during a downside. And this isn't even close to a downside. Yeah, exactly. And that's one of the things that I make sure I'm talking about with anybody that's purchasing a home right now is that if you're planning on staying in the house for five plus years, I mean, it's not really a matter of when you should buy. It's if you can buy, if you can afford the payments, it makes sense to get into a place, the neighborhood you want to be in, the type of house. Maybe you have to do a few more updates than you wanted to do, but if you can get into a place, you're going to be there for the long term. It's going to make financial sense for the long run because yes, like you said, the housing market has always appreciated. And over the long term, it's always been a great investment for any homeowners. Absolutely. And, you know, we have this mass exodus out of California, it seems like, right? But, <laughs> you know, if, if, you, if you move out of California, do it because you want to, not because you're being forced to, because you can't afford to buy a home here. So the faster you get in, the better, because they're only going to go up from here. Yep. I agree. Okay, so based so talking about that. So in terms of, I know there's a couple of different things that we've talked about off screen, um, but can we go over some of the things that you have available for people that are trying to purchase homes right now? Some of the products that you're offering, um, and try to get the people into homes, make it affordable for them to be able to get into the home in the next couple of months, all the way up to maybe the next year. Yeah, for sure. If you don't mind, let me share my screen here. Absolutely. So. The new hot, like, you know, ticket in town right now is these uh, buy down, this is a buy down calculator. So it's a, a buy down thing. And, and this particular uh, product that I have, it has several different ones. It's got a 1 0. So I'm okay. going to show you how it works. Let's just say, for example, we have a loan amount of right, $600,000. And let's just say, to keep numbers easy, the going interest rate is 7%. Your monthly payment is $39.92, principal and interest that doesn't include taxes and insurance. And then, so first option we're gonna have is the 1-0 buy down. If the note rate is 7%, you get a 6% interest rate for the first 12 months, which is a monthly savings of $395, annualized for $4,734. 
So if you want to take this, the cost to get this is the same amount that you're going to save by having a lower rate. So it's not like you're benefiting in any way. Um, you're just basically paying it up front in order to save it per month. Now, here's the catch. You can't pay this yourself. And quite honestly, it doesn't make any sense for somebody to use their own money to do this. If you have the extra money, then you know, just put it aside and, and every month take out the extra 395 to help you know, to help yeah, lower your payment, right? Exactly. This is all meant to be for the seller of the home to pay for you. So gotcha. a 1% rate reduction for one year is going to cost 4,700 bucks. A one, one buy down is 6% for the first 12 months, 6% for the next 12 months for, so a total of 24 months, the savings and cost 9,468. Now here's where it starts getting a little bit better. There's a two one buy down and simple same numbers, 2% lower than the, the original note rate of 7% for the first 12 months, 6% for the, the following 12 months. Now let's go to this bottom one, three, two, one. This is where it kind of gets good, you know, because it's a 4%, right? 3% lower than the original note rate of 7%. So you're going to save $1,127 every single month for the first 12 months. The following 12 months, you're going to save $771. And the, finally, in the third 12 months, you're going to, the third year of it, you're going to save $395 for a total of $27,000. Now, I know that it seems like a lot, but right now, depending on what price home you're trying to buy, if you could, I, I, I know there's a lot of deals to be had. So I think it's quite possible now for a seller to pay this for you. And, and the way that would work is, right, you know, you pay a little bit more for the house or maybe what they're asking for. But then instead of doing a, a, a reduction of cost for the house of $27,000, you'll say, I'll pay your fee. I'll pay your, your asking price. But I need you to pay my $27,000 in fees. Yeah. And, and if you do that, if you think about it for the first 12 months, you're going to be saving 1127. That's an awful lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it'll put you in a pretty good situation where you can kind of ride out this storm. Quite honestly, my opinion is at some point next year, everybody will be refinancing anyway. But if for whatever reason that's prolonged another year, well, you get another 12 months with a $771 savings per month, right? Gotcha. So, so there's a lot of options here for you. I mean, we got a 1-0, a 1-1, mm -hmm. a 2-1, a 3-2-1, right? There's, there's a lot of options here. And if we look right here on the, you know, what the eligibility is, it's for conventional and VA loans and for FHA loans. Now, there's a catch, right? On the mm -hmm. conventional and VA, you got to have a minimum credit score a 660. Okay. On an FHA, same thing on the credit score, 660. However, on the FHA loan, you don't get the 321 buy down option. The max okay. rate reduction is 2%. So all of these will count on the yep. FHA, but not on the 321. So gotcha. that's the only caveat there. Okay. And then for those of you listening on podcasts, this is definitely an episode you're going to want to check out on either my YouTube, on Instagram, or my Facebook channel. So you can see all these numbers and all the breakdowns on there. Um, and for those of you that might be thinking, okay, really, is a seller going to pay 25 grand basically to get me into this product? Well, the market has definitely shifted right now. So the last buyer I helped, I mean, this is almost becoming commonplace at this point for sellers to pay something for some type of buy down. So it's just a matter of how much they're willing to pay at this point. And like Dino said, and we had this, I had this happen on my last sale for uh, representing the seller is the buyer pays slightly over the asking price, kind of at the top end of the value of the home. But in return, 
then the buyer is able to get a credit to be able to use these buy down products to make their mortgage rate affordable so they can actually get into the home. So it's kind of a give and take from both the buyer and the seller. Um, and that's really something, like I said, with the the way that market is going right now is, is pretty much commonplace where the sellers are almost at this point expected to give something to help the buyers out because the demand has gone down so significantly since we're hitting those 7% interest rates. So we've got a bunch of those products. So in terms of the... Um, I know you were talking about another product that you were helping with like first time home buyers um, and teachers and that kind of stuff as well. So do you want to talk a little bit about that program that you're offering specifically? Yeah. And, you know, I'll start a little bit with, with the why, um, okay. you know, I get a lot of people that ask me about the down payment assistance programs and first time home buyer programs and all these different things. And, yep. and the reality is, you know, for the most part, right, we're located in Orange County. So the, the majority of our transactions are in Orange County or the surrounding areas, right? San Diego, Los Angeles, Riverside. And and guys, one way or another, I hate saying it, but the cost of a home is so high in these, in these general areas that any of these government-sponsored programs just don't work. They, they have all these little restrictions, right? Like you can only make certain amount of money in order to qualify for the program. So let's say you do, let's say you make 60 grand, right? You qualify for the program, but guess what? You won't qualify for the home. Yeah. So it's impossible to do. The, the last time I did one of these was back after the 2008 crash when, when the cost of homes actually were really cheap. Then we could do it and, and it was working. So with that said, I've decided to roll something out. Um, it's the first time I'm, I'm announcing it, actually. So I'm really excited about it because it's right. our way of trying to help everybody. And what I'm doing is I'm offering just a $2,500 credit. It's a lender credit. We call it a grant. It's free money. The advantage is you don't have to pay it back. Um, and, and you, you know, pretty, I'm going to make it so pretty much everybody qualifies for it. <laughs> so here's, here's who it is. Um, first time home buyers will qualify for just automatic 2,500 bucks. Okay. Um, anybody that is a teacher or works in the, the, the schooling system, anybody who works in the police system, anybody who works in the fire system, um, anybody that works for a nonprofit organization, um, including churches. So anybody that works in churches, uh, any military Gosh, did I leave anybody out? Anybody <laughs> in the healthcare industry, right? That anybody there okay. will qualify for a twenty five hundred dollar just lender credit right off the top. So okay. let's just say all your fees are five grand. Mm -hmm. Twenty five hundred bucks will be applied as a credit, which means you'll only have to bring in twenty five hundred dollars. Wow. And that's okay. just my way right now of trying to help everybody because okay. I know it has gotten so ridiculously expensive out there. <laughs> So let's just see if we can get people in the houses because ultimately that's, you know, that's what we do. And yeah. we want to make sure we are able to help as many people as possible. You know, the, the first time home buyer is really the person I'm trying to help the most. But then I started thinking about it. I'm like, gosh, you know, any, anybody that kind of puts their neck out on the line, like cops and firemen, mm -hmm. right? So, and then military is yeah. the other one. So let me, let me add them. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, well, teachers, don't really get paid that much money and, and they do a lot of good work out there. Right. So, so let's just include all these people okay. and give them 2,500 bucks. Perfect. Well, I mean, that sounds like a great program. Obviously, like you said, that's going to help a lot of people and save some money on there because right now, one of the big things that I, that I try to convey to buyers right now is that over the next six months, you're going to have some great opportunities to purchase homes uh, because the competition is a lot lower. So you're able to get into these homes often for less than market value right now because sellers, especially as we're going into the holiday season right now, they're trying to debate, should I keep my house on the market? I really don't want to have my house on the market while I'm trying to have Thanksgiving or I'm trying to entertain for the holidays. So they're at that point right now where they're saying, okay, well, am I going to accept something, get it sold, be done with it before the holidays, or am I going to take it off the market? So this is one of the best times. And I've seen a bunch of articles recently as well, like Realtor.com, that is saying that October is one of the best times to purchase homes because you have sellers that are really in need of selling their house and want to get it sold still and are more likely to make a deal with you. So if you're looking to purchase a home, 
The biggest thing really you need to be looking at, and this is pretty much always the case, and this goes back to the longer you hold the house, the better of an investment it's going to be for you, is that you really need to be looking at those monthly mortgage payments. If you can afford those monthly mortgage payments and you're going to stay in the house for the long term, there are some great deals to be had. You have a lot of negotiating power right now. You don't have to remove all those contingencies like you've had to do over the last two years. You can take your time, inspect the property, ask for repairs, and you can go through this process and get a much better deal and it's a lot less stressful for the buying side because you're not having to see a home, hit the market, check it out in an hour. If not, you've got five offers on it and it's already 50 grand above asking price. We're no longer in that market. So even though, yes, homes are definitely more unaffordable right now, especially because of interest rates, if you're able to afford it right now, it is a great time to be able to look, purchase a home, get a great price, make sure that you're secure through the whole transaction and really have a lot more leverage and negotiating power than you've ever had before. Uh, you know, if I can add something to that, one, yeah. one thing too that, you know, you got to kind of think about is for everybody not sure, right? Because they, they're afraid of the prices going down and all that. There's, there's a lot of talk of that, but there's the doomsdayers and that's just kind of what they feed off of all the yeah. time. And, and, and I don't really understand it because that's just how they are, right? They always think the worst of something. If you just look at the statistics, we, we have a shortage of homes and we have an abundance of people. That means we have a supply and demand issue. We've had that for a long time, which is what's caused a lot of the problem. And then coupled with the low interest rates, that was a problem, right? That, yeah. that caused this kind of you know, excessive craziness that went on. But the fact of the matter is, you know, what's happening right now is, is not even a normal market. It's still considered a good market. You know, yeah. it's just not stupid good like it was for <laughs> so long, but it's still considered a good market. And we still have a shortage of homes, in which case we're gonna still have, when the house is priced right, and you know, it's in a good area and all that stuff, there's still a demand and there's still a, a uh, you know, multiple buyer type of situation, people bidding yeah. on it. I mean, the last deal we put into escrow, there was more than 10 offers and people overbid on it because yeah. it was a good home that was priced right. Yeah. So, you know, when you, when people see, oh, prices are dropping, prices are just, that's because some knucklehead priced it <laughs> at way over what it's worth, right? Yeah. So of course it's going to drop. It's not worth that. And that's where the markets shifted a little bit. But we're not, we're not even in a normal market. I mean, it's still considered good. So even if it drops a little bit more, it's just normal. Like that's yeah. normal. It's normal for it to take longer than five days to sell a house. <laughs> it's normal for all these yep. things. So for all you guys listening, remember supply and demand is still an issue. And, and the statistics prove that there's still going to be X amount of people coming into market regularly for the next several years. Yep. And we don't have enough housing to, to supply that. So get in because you can lock in the price that you bought the home for. Now I know the interest rate is high right now and that scares you, but remember the interest rates will change. And from all the expectations at some point next year, interest rates are due to drop. And, and I think they're gonna drop easily into the fours we'll see if we get into the threes or not but i mean you know lock it in because once that happens guess what's going to happen with the real estate market again yep. it's going to just crazy. explode yep yeah the underlying supply and demand fundamentals are there and like you said um, i kind of talked about the the millennial generation right now has one of the biggest drivers of the housing market that represented almost 50 percent of all transactions in the united states last year they're entering those peak years for purchasing homes now all the way for the next two or three years. On top of that, there's a lack of homes that have been being built. Builders have been underbuilding since 2008 every single year. So there's just not enough homes out there. So really the interest rates are really causing the fluctuations in the market. We had unhealthy interest rates going too low, which caused prices to spike. And now we have interest rates going the other way, but the underlying fundamentals are there. There's a lot of demand in the marketplace right now, and it's not going to be going away. So like you said, Dino, you need to make sure that if you want to get into a home right now and you can afford those payments, like, like we've been talking about, that's kind of the biggest thing. You have to make sure that financially you can do it. So you don't want to be overstressing yourself and 
luckily right now, I mean, because of everything that happened with 2008, lenders like yourself, you have very strict guidelines that you have to follow. So you know people when they're doing these buy down rates, this is not an ARM product where you have adjustable rates. You know every single year what your payments are going to be. You know what the max payment is going to be and you're getting qualified on that max payment. So if these aren't things, products that you're seeing out like you saw before 2008 happen, this is something that you know that you can qualify to be able to afford. And as long as you're comfortable with those max payments, obviously you don't want to be getting into yourself and saying that I know interest rates are going to drop. Yes, it's very likely because history has shown for 50 years, every time inflation starts going down, which is expected over the next 12 months at some point that you can see interest rates are going to follow after that. So I completely agree at some point in the next 12 months, you should see interest rates start to go back down. And at that point, like you said as well, then you're getting back to the housing market where you're going to have the demand there. It's going to come back. People have been sitting on the sidelines and you're going to be into the same type of a situation you've been over the last two years as a buyer trying to compete for homes, trying to have to overbid for homes because the reality is we just don't have enough homes in California right now. And that's not going to change anytime in the next couple of years. That's going to be something that's going to take a decade or two if we do it right to get that under control. And even then it's going to be very difficult to do. Absolutely. And like you said, that, that's why take advantage of some of these new programs that are out by, you know, having the seller buy down your interest rate by two or 3%. Yep. I mean, can't get better than that. Yeah, and then when, when you refinance, you'll be there, you know, permanently. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. Well, I think that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to talk about with you today. Do you know, again, I know there's a lot of headlines out there right now, scaring people in terms of what the housing market is going to do. So I like to, to provide as many different viewpoints as possible and get some clarity on what's actually happening using data statistics and looking at all the different ways that you can still afford to get into a house right now, even though interest rates are higher. So hopefully for those that are watching today, you got some great information from this. If you did find it useful, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you know anybody that might find this information useful, for instance, any of those people that Dino mentioned that can qualify for that buyer grant of $2,500, make sure you share it with them as well, because that's $2,500 for free that they get when they purchase a new home. So hope again that you found today's information useful. Until next week episode, stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye.